Hello everyone. In this um, brief tutorial, we'll take a look at a piece of software by the name of MoveNote, um, which is a tool, um, as I said in the slide here, to flip your classroom. Um, it is basically what you're looking at right now. It is a presentation tool um, that allows you to provide instruction in a just-in-time format or for students to demonstrate their understanding in a just-in-time format if they're using it. Um, Basically, uh, what it can do is uh, give you the ability to create lessons by simply uploading a PowerPoint, as what I've done here and presenting it. Um, you can also upload documents and use that as a discussion point. Um, you can ask questions, just like uh, I can um, navigate with my mouse and uh, show you different things that I might click on. So if I want to say it integrates tightly with Google Drive, I can go ahead and, and circle that. Uh, for uh, for some people, you might find this a, a very powerful use uh, for giving uh, feedback on Google Docs because you can have your face here um, as the student work is on the page and as you're uh, talking about uh, what the student might want to uh, change or work on, uh, simply pressing your mouse button and uh, moving your mouse around will create this little red dot that you can see here so the students can see what it is you're referring to. So to create these, it's actually very uh, simple and it does tie in directly with your Google Drive account. Um, so if you take a look, um, go to movenote.com and you will have to sign in once this way before we uh, do any of the Google Drive integration that I'll show you next. But uh, once you've been here, movenote.com and click the uh, sign in button, not to create the new account. You don't want to create a new account. You simply want to sign in because you have an account through Google. Um, when you get onto the site, simply click on the G at the bottom here for Google and uh, it will tie your Google account into this account so that you can use the same login to get into both. But that also allows for uh, synchronization between the two of them so that you can uh, save your uh, uh, move notes within your Google Drive folder. Once you've done that, the screen that appears looks something like this, although though, uh, probably not with quite as scary a face as, uh, as this one. Um, the first time you, uh, you visit this, you might be asked for permission, a little dialog box would show up just where my face is here, and say, uh, will you allow uh, this program to use your webcam? So just click allow and uh, the little dialog will go away and you'll see, um, see yourself in that little window. Then all I need to do is add content, which typically is either a document, a PDF, or a PowerPoint. Um, however, because this is tightly integrated with your Google Drive, um, you'll notice here that one of the choices that will come up for adding content is Google Drive. And so if you click on that, it'll take you to your Google Drive folder. And if you've got a Google presentation, PowerPoint, or Google document within your Google Drive, um, you'll be able to uh, integrate that and uh, have it display in the same way um, this is displaying here. And then all you have to do once this is done is click the record button right here and it'll give you a three second countdown and that's it, you're on. You'll see um, just at the top a list or an, a little um, forward backwards button where you can um, move your slide forward, move your slide backwards as you're presenting, and um, um, use that to navigate through your uh, site. So if I just uh, move forward to uh, um, the Google Drive integration now, once you've done this portion, once you've created your presentation, once you've um, clicked the save and preview and you're happy with what you've created, the next step is actually to tie this together with Google Drive. So to do that, all I'm going to do is if I log into my Google Drive account, you'll uh, see the, uh, the familiar create button on the top, uh, top left. And uh, typically when that uh, opens up, you only see these guys, the folder, document, presentation, spreadsheet, form, and drawing show up. But you will notice that at the bottom, there's a box here that says connect more apps. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but uh, Google Drive is expandable. You can actually add additional functionality to your Google Drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Connect More Apps. 
and a whole bunch of options will come up. But at the top uh, right, you'll see a search box. And so in that search box, I just type move note. And if you look at the search results, one of them will be this one. It says move notes for education. And so all I need to do is push the connect button. And uh, from that point on, it will work. Um, you'll see that move note will show up on your list of uh, new things you can add. So if you're in a folder, um, if you've created a shared folder, for example, with your class, and you want to create a move note that uh, your class has access to, all you need to do is just press the create button, select move note, and, um, and record. Um, there would be no extra logging in or anything to that effect. When you go back to your Google Drive, you'll see it sitting there. Um, with any Google Drive app, of course, you can share um, uh, the document, you can share accessibility, you can uh, manage, you can put uh, into different uh, file folders, etc. And all of that will work with your um, uh, move note. So I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, um, feel free to contact me. Um, I will put a link to this presentation below. So if you want to use that and play around with it, uh, maybe to work with other teachers, you're more than welcome to.